Hello, I am in Strasbourg, France, and I'm just about to jump on a tram, head across the Rhine, and go to Bursna, where I'm going to clap eyes for the first time on the luxury motorhome that we're going to be enjoying for the next week, and I just can't wait. Okay, so we've made it to Borussia's transport center here in Kehl in Germany, just across the Rhine from Strasbourg. And there is my new baby. Well, the new baby I'm borrowing for the next week. So let's go and take a quick look at the outside while we have such a beautiful day. There we go, a Borussia Liceo M Harmony Line 690G. And as you can see, it's a Mercedes. So we have rear wheel drive. And what I was really pleased about actually when I first clapped eyes on this motorhome is that it's not intimidatingly big. Uh, I really like that. It's just under seven meters long. We will obviously go into far more detail in the review at the end of the series in a few weeks time. But just give you a very quick look now. Uh, so you can see we've got the uh, awning there and a garage very smart rear panel and then this one has a reversing camera can you see that reversing camera and then these services here on the offside so you can also see so we've got a very nice garage it's all locked up at the moment so that's a very brief tour of the outside uh, let's jump in now and um, decide where we're going to go. The great thing here is shall we go to Germany, France or Switzerland? Ooh, lovely, lovely. Well, it's all very romantic saying shall we go to France or Germany or Switzerland? But I guess the first place we need to go really is the supermarket. The question is, shall we go to the supermarket in Germany or shall we go to the supermarket in France? Oh, decisions, decisions. Right, how do I start this thing? Um, uh, um, where's the brake? Oh, electronic handbrake. Automatic gearbox. As I say, we'll run through all this later on in the full review towards the end of the series. <laughs> it's just a 70,000 pound motorhome that's not mine. <laughs> right, drive on the right. Drive on the right. I'll wait to see your golden smile Feel of a thousand kisses Oh, please stay a while I'll reach up to hold your sunlit face Feels like a handful of silk now I'm in your warm embrace This could have got off to a really bad start, and in fact, it's not got off to the greatest start. 
So I've used the Burris and the Sat Nav to get me to a supermarket and the motorhome I have just checked is three meters high, 299 centimeters. It's bringing me under a bridge that's 2.5 meters high. That could have ended horribly. I'm now in a tiny approach road and I've got to try and reverse back up to the roundabout and um, try and find another way to the supermarket. It could be worse. I could be towing a caravan. Right, where's the... Uh, drive. Trouble is too, when you get all flustered, you lose things like... Things like, because it's unfamiliar, changing gear, stuff like that. Right. Crisis averted. Whoa. I am so pleased I stopped. I wasn't very popular with the people behind me. French drivers are not known for their patience. That could have been really nasty. Thank my lucky stars. So, the two morals of this story are, number one, don't always believe the sat-nav, unless it's one of these specialist sat-navs that you get for goods vehicles, because the one fitted to this, Burisna, tried to take us through the way in that was uh, had a 2.5 metre height restriction, and number two is, before setting off, Always know the dimensions of your motorhome. That's enough drama for one day. I think I'm just going to go and get some shopping. Right, so did the shopping in a supermarket that was roughly the size of Belgium. Uh, it was ridiculous ridiculously huge and it just took ages and ages and ages and ages to get what I wanted which was like three things and uh, I'm now sitting in the Strasbourg rush hour traffic the van is pretty easy to manoeuvre thank goodness with all this traffic around and what I've decided to do now is head to just the local campsite Camping Strasbourg I think it's a Camping Indigo I put it in the sat nav because uh, yeah I'm just a bit tired now it's been a long day after a long journey yesterday and when you are feeling a bit tired and that I think it's a good idea to to go to a full facility campsite and just plug in and chill out and that's exactly what I'm gonna do after I finished editing a video Oh, they do like their tight bridges in France. Oh. But this looks very smart. Very smart indeed. Let's go and enregistre.
Right, well, I'm going to wrap this little vlog up here. Now, as I've been editing this vlog, I look back at the dash cam footage and the sharp-eyed amongst you will have noticed that, yes, there was a little warning sign on the slip road down to the supermarket. However, I may have been checking the mirrors for traffic coming in, maybe cutting me up. I might have been glancing down at that sat-nav screen and I obviously missed that one tiny little warning sign. However, in the year 2020, the technology exists and it's freely available for sat-navs to be vehicle specific. So you can put the dimensions of your vehicle into the sat-nav and it will make sure you don't go down roads like we were taken down. And I would have thought that for a premium product, that should be fitted as standard. So I hope that maybe Burstner will take that on board along with maybe other premium motorhome manufacturers that maybe it's time now that we started seeing motorhome or truck specific um, sat-navs fitted to motorhomes. So that's just something that I wanted to share with you and hopefully that the industry may take away from my experience and also for you to see that how important it is to, to know the dimensions of your motorhome and what you can do is you can write them on a post-it note and put it on the back of your visor, your sun visor, so if you need them at very short notice you can look at them up very quickly. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little vlog. It wasn't meant to be the first vlog. The first vlog was meant to be um, a first look at the motorhome. So now that's gonna be the next video in a series, which will be a first look at the inside and the services on the Burstner Lysio M Harmony Line 690G. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Burstner UK for sponsoring this vlog. And as you can probably tell, without interfering with or influencing the content and they do trust me to tell it like it is because I know you appreciate honesty so that I've been given full carte blanche to be honest and you can see I've just been honest about something that's fitted to this van so a huge thank you to Burstner UK please do check out the website in the link below for further details of this motorhome and a dealer list of UK dealers in the meantime if you enjoyed this vlog you know what to do folks please give us a thumbs up please do subscribe so you can catch the rest of the series and it just leaves me to say from Dougal who's with my mum and from me, thanks for churning in.